um, benchmark against uh, against the raw drive. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so this will take about a minute. And uh, what's nice about the Crystal Disk Mark, and I think everyone in the audience has probably played with it or seen uh, articles, uh, reviews, this is essentially the bread and butter of, uh, of figuring out you know, the corners of the uh, storage performance. And so what we have is the um, sequential reads followed by sequential writes on top. Um, and then it will go into the 512 reads and writes. So this is again you know, matching up exactly with uh, what um, what has been published um, in our in our material. Okay, now this is the, the 512. And um, now we're starting 4K random reads uh, at a Q depth of 1. And how many people know the difference between Q depths 1 and 32, for example? Any hands? Oh, we got some. Good, good. So do you, you guys are the techie ones. You guys can come up here and, and give, the, give the pitch. <laughs> well, the, the main difference between, uh, and actually for, for Windows environment, there's um, there's a lot of traffic that happens at the queue depth of, uh, of one and um, at smaller um, smaller chunk sizes, right? And the main uh, activity there is really Windows doing a lot of background work, um, doing little uh, writes and little modifies to, to different files, and that typically is what will cause your PC to run then stutter, run then stutter. Okay, and so that is kind of an indicator of, you know, you need a better storage solution. And of course, um, you know, what uh, Jonathan shared with you earlier today, uh, at Samsung, we are really focused on making sure that your random write performance, your random read performance is uh, improved. And so this is showing, you know, we're getting, um, you know, 40 uh, megabytes per second, Close to uh, 10, 10 k ops and then um, and then the, the writes are 140 megabytes per second, and so this is a pretty dramatic improvement from the previous um, previous generation. Okay, so this is these are all good numbers, um, and that's just what we have uh, have shared already. So, what do you think? Should we take a look at uh, the evil with uh, with rapid enable? Okay, so ready? One, two. Three, go. Okay, and uh, and now we'll see we'll, we'll see what Rapid can do. Okay, and so uh, a few things to, to note first is that Rapid technology includes several different technologies inside. One of which is uh, read acceleration. The second is uh, write optimization. And read acceleration is really um, actually let me go forward real quick. Read acceleration is technology that we have created to help manage um, the, the, uh, the system resources in your, in your PC a little bit better. So what we have found through, um, through different tests and through uh, work with, uh, with, um, with different user groups is that uh, a lot of PCs are over spec in terms of CPU and DRAM. And, um, and so what we can do is but it is unrespected in terms of storage, right? And so that's where SSDs come into play, and um, and so SSDs provide a huge boost in that area. What we can do on top of that, though, is we're still respect on the CPU and the DRAM. Let's leverage that, okay, to provide an even bigger performance boost, and that's what we're seeing here, right? And so you'll see that uh, you know, for the read performance, it's improved uh, fairly dramatically, especially on. Um, on the, uh, the, the 512K, uh, the sequential reads up there is, uh, we, we have not taken caching, uh, the cache effect completely into effect yet. And so as we continue to run, you actually get even better performance. Okay, and so this is the, the end result here. Okay, so take a look at it. Take pictures, please. <laughs> this is, this is the, the, the 
the ultimate uh, result of, of the, uh, at least the first result of uh, the acquisition and the technology uh, development between Samsung and, uh, and the Vilo team. And it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, if you take a look specifically at the 4K random reads and writes, you know, as I mentioned earlier, we have improved the random read and write behavior within the device. Okay, now, pairing it with software, we can dramatically change the landscape there. We're able to bring the random write performance all the way up to 500 megabytes per second, or over 100 KB um, by offset.